So we have our trees on our artboard, the poster, but they are floating, of course. So we need to plant them on the hillside. Now to do that, we're going to look at some scaling options. So first of all, I've got my selection tool active. I'm going to left click on the tree we made in a previous exercise and then drag that over to the right hand side of the artboard. I'll switch to my zoom tool and then just zoom into that region so we can see it a bit clearer. Hold down the space bar to pan and then I'm going to switch back to my selection tool and grab the properties panel and just move this to the side. So we can see these two in, in closer relationship to one another. So when we're scaling, uh, as with all Adobe applications, there are good and bad ways to do that, of course. So if I go to the width and the height field, shown as W and H, if I swipe over the height of this to change the size and type in, say something like 50 and hit return, we get that. So it's changed the height, but it hasn't altered the width and we've distorted the artwork. That's easily remedied. I can go up to the edit menu and choose undo scale. So ideally what we're doing when we're scaling is trying to link the width and height together. There's a link symbol up here and as Adobe calls it, it maintains the width and the height proportions. So with those linked, if I now go back to height, swipe over that, type in 50 and press return, it will change both the width and the height. So that's uniformly scaling. And with any of the values that are in the properties panel uh, in, in those fields, you will have to hit the return key on the keyboard to force Illustrator to update those values. Now from here, then I can just click and drag and I can move this down somewhere around about here like so. So that is how we can scale uniformly inside of Illustrator.